This is a book about a particular farmhouse and the family who lived there, but it's also about any house and any family and the passing of time and about the things we leave behind and how stories are the things that remain. Stories that we pass down through generations. Stories that outlast us all. I first explored the house on a late spring day. Outside was a tangle of nettles and weeds. Inside everything was cool and dark and quiet. The floor was scattered with brittle leaves and broken glass. A parlour organ held walnut shells and the curled up pages of lovesick songs. I knew there were stories to collect here, so I filled my arms with rain-soaked books and wallpaper scraps and brought them back to my desk, where I began to imagine the things that took place in this house, where 12 children were born and raised, where they ate and slept and worked and played. Farmhouse is written in one long sentence and the images are essentially one giant piece of art seen in glimpses and at the end as a whole. The illustrations are made of layers. I began with the reverse side of a roll of wallpaper and added floors and walls and furniture made from the scraps and fragments I found in the falling down house, including fabric from 21 handmade dresses that were caked in mud that I separated and hung in a tree to dry. Most of the original layers are invisible now, hidden beneath embellishments and details, in the way that stories become layered as they get told and retold over the years. Stories about everything and nothing much that stay alive long after children grow up and houses fall down while wildflowers nod their heads in the sun.